In the ever-evolving world of high-performance automobiles, there are few names that command as much respect and admiration as Porsche. With a rich history dating back to 1931, Porsche has consistently pushed the boundaries of automotive engineering, delivering iconic models that have captured the hearts of enthusiasts worldwide. One such model, the Porsche 968, holds a special place in the hearts of many Porsche aficionados. Now, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom has sent shockwaves through the automotive industry by revealing the return of the Porsche 968 as a cheap supercar. The original Porsche 968 made its debut in the early 1990s, succeeding the highly acclaimed 944 series. While it may not have achieved the same level of fame as the 911, the 968 was a true gem in Porsche's lineup. It blended performance, handling, and everyday usability in a way that few sports cars of its era could match. Powered by a 3.0-liter inline-four engine, the 968 generated 236 horsepower and 225 lb-ft of torque, propelling it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. This was an impressive feat for its time, and the 968 quickly gained a reputation for being a capable sports car that could comfortably accommodate daily driving needs. However, as the years passed, the 968 gradually faded into obscurity, overshadowed by the ever-evolving 911 and the introduction of newer, more powerful Porsche models. Despite this, a devoted group of enthusiasts continued to cherish the 968 for its balanced handling and timeless design. Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom recently made waves in the automotive world when he announced plans to resurrect the Porsche 968, albeit with a modern twist. Bloom's vision is to reintroduce the 968 as a cheap supercar, combining the nostalgia of the original model with cutting-edge technology and performance enhancements. Bloom's decision to revive the 968 is a testament to Porsche's commitment to its heritage and the recognition that classic models like the 968 hold a special place in the hearts of many enthusiasts. With advancements in engineering and manufacturing techniques, Porsche aims to create a more accessible supercar that appeals to a broader audience. One of the key elements of Bloom's plan is to make the revived Porsche 968 more affordable than traditional supercars. While the term cheap supercar might seem like an oxymoron, it represents a shift in the industry towards making high-performance vehicles accessible to a wider range of buyers. In recent years, the cost of entry into the supercar world has soared, with many models commanding six-figure price tags. Bloom's strategy is to offer the new 968 at a significantly lower price point, making it an enticing option for enthusiasts who may have previously considered a Porsche out of reach. Porsche is not the only automaker to recognize the demand for affordable supercars. In recent years, several manufacturers have entered the fray, aiming to democratize the high-performance segment. Companies like McLaren, Aston Martin, and even Chevrolet with its Corvette have introduced models that deliver supercar performance without the exorbitant price tags traditionally associated with the genre. The success of these more attainable supercars has proven that there is a genuine appetite for high-performance vehicles that don't break the bank. Porsche's decision to resurrect the 968 as a cheap supercar is a bold move in this ongoing battle for affordability and accessibility in the supercar market. While the new Porsche 968 will pay homage to its predecessor's iconic design, it will benefit from significant modernization under the hood. Bloom has hinted at the use of hybrid technology in advanced materials to enhance performance while also meeting stricter emissions regulations. One of the key challenges in creating a cheap supercar is striking the right balance between performance and affordability. Bloom and his team at Porsche are hard at work to ensure that the new 968 offers a thrilling driving experience without compromising on the price point. This may involve innovative engineering solutions and a focus on weight reduction to maximize the power-to-weight ratio. The new 968 is expected to boast a turbocharged four-cylinder engine in line with the modern trend of downsizing and turbocharging for improved efficiency and performance. This power plant is anticipated to produce well over 300 horsepower, offering a significant boost in performance compared to the original model. In addition to the powertrain enhancements, the new 968 will also benefit from cutting-edge suspension technology, advanced aerodynamics, and electronic driver aids to ensure it can compete with contemporary supercars on both the road and track. 
While modernization is crucial to the success of the new Porsche 968, preserving the essence of the original model is equally important. Enthusiasts have fond memories of the 968's balanced handling, comfortable interior, and timeless design. Bloom is determined to capture the spirit of the original while pushing the boundaries of what a cheap supercar can be. The exterior design of the new 968 will pay homage to its predecessor, retaining the iconic sloping roofline, pop-up headlights, and sleek aerodynamic profile. However, it will incorporate contemporary design elements to ensure it stands out in today's competitive supercar market. Inside, the new 968 will feature a modern and driver-centric cockpit with the latest infotainment and connectivity technology. Porsche understands that while enthusiasts seek affordability, they also expect a certain level of luxury and comfort in their supercars. One piece of exciting news for purists is the potential return of the manual transmission in the new Porsche 968. While many modern supercars have shifted towards automatic or dual-clutch transmissions for their performance advantages, the manual gearbox holds a special place in the hearts of enthusiasts. Porsche has a long history of offering manual transmissions in its sports cars, and the inclusion of a manual option in the new 968 would undoubtedly be welcomed by those who relish the connection between man and machine. Bloom's decision to consider a manual transmission option demonstrates Porsche's commitment to providing a driving experience that caters to a wide range of preferences, from traditionalists to those who favor the convenience of automatic transmissions. As Porsche prepares to reintroduce the 968 as a cheap supercar, it will face stiff competition from other automakers who have already entered this segment. McLaren, for example, has made a significant impact with models like the McLaren 570S, offering superb performance at a relatively affordable price point. Aston Martin, known for its luxury sports cars, has ventured into the affordable supercar arena with the Vantage, which combines stunning design with impressive performance. The Chevrolet Corvette, with its mid-engine layout, has also gained attention as a compelling alternative to traditional European supercars. Porsche's unique selling proposition in this competitive landscape lies in its rich history and heritage. The Porsche 968 is not just any sports car. It is a symbol of Porsche's commitment to performance, innovation, and timeless design. Enthusiasts are likely to be drawn to the brand's heritage and reputation for engineering excellence. The Return of the Porsche 968 as a cheap supercar will have a global impact on the automotive industry. Porsche has a vast international following, and the revival of this classic model is sure to generate excitement and anticipation among enthusiasts worldwide. The affordability of the new 968 may also open doors to markets that were previously less accessible to Porsche's high-performance offerings. Emerging markets in Asia and South America, where demand for sports cars is on the rise, could become significant contributors to Porsche's sales and global presence. Moreover, the introduction of the new 968 aligns with the broader industry trend of embracing sustainability and reducing emissions. By incorporating hybrid technology and modern engineering practices, Porsche is demonstrating its commitment to environmental responsibility while delivering an exhilarating driving experience. Porsche's decision to bring back the 968 as a cheap supercar represents a significant turning point in the industry. It highlights the growing demand for high-performance vehicles that are attainable for a broader range of enthusiasts. As technology continues to advance, and as automakers explore innovative solutions to meet emission standards, the era of the affordable supercar is here to stay. This shift in focus towards affordability and accessibility is not limited to Porsche alone. Other automakers are likely to follow suit, introducing their own interpretations of cheap supercars that combine cutting-edge technology with affordability. As a result, the supercar landscape is set to become more diverse and competitive, offering consumers a wider range of choices. Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom's revelation of the return of the Porsche 968 as a cheap supercar is a bold and exciting development in the automotive world. It signifies Porsche's commitment to its heritage while embracing modern technology and affordability. The resurrection of the 968 will undoubtedly appeal to enthusiasts who have longed for a more affordable Porsche supercar. It also reflects a broader trend in the industry, where automakers are striving to make high-performance vehicles accessible to a wider audience. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, 
comment, and subscribe. And make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.